Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial we are going to make a little control unit for these speakers. This is the third tutorial in a series on how to make speakers in UMake or sound systems. So right now you'll see that I have the z-axis symmetry turned on. The first step in this tutorial that I want to do is turn the symmetry off so that we can create something on the center or in the center of these two speakers. I'm going to turn z-axis symmetry off, go to the top view here, and I'm actually going to draw a curve with a very hard edge in it. So I'll draw something like that. And you'll see that it auto-corrects, and this is now what is called a polyline. The reason I know this is that if I select it and go to edit, I have a dark blue control point here. And if I add a control point like this, you'll see that when I move that point around, it creates a sharp bend. There's uh, basically just a crease. Essentially what this is, is a set of lines that are joined together. The, the control points are just basically uh, merges. They're not actual um, normal control points. So this is made up of three lines right now that are just kind of hinged together. This is really good for what I want to do because if I come over and turn on the grid snapping, I can create something that has the shape of a C. It's kind of like creating a square without one side. The reason I want to do this is because I want this side to have a bend in it. If I draw a traditional square in UMake that is autocorrected, let's try that again, and try to add a point here, you'll see that it is also dark blue and it is a polyline. So I'll get this sharp edge here. And that's not what I want. I want something with a nice curve. So the reason that I did that C shape is so that I can do precisely that. So I'll just tap and hold on the edges. I'm going to draw a line between them. Try that one more time like that. And if I edit this, I can just put one point in the middle. This is a normal control point. And if I pull it out, I get a nice curve to it. Now, I'll just select those two curves, use the extrude function, extrude this up, like this, and I'll tap done. And to give this kind of a similar feel to the speaker stands, I will actually scale down the top. So now you get something a little bit more dynamic, kind of interesting. All right, select these two curves, create a surface to close off the top of it. And now we have a little central control unit. Let's add some knobs to this. So I'm going to draw a circle like that. Scale this down just a little bit. And then I'm going to bring the circle out and down. Go back to the front view. And we'll actually have a large circle in the middle and then two smaller ones on either side. Just move it back a little bit like that. And I'm just going to use the extrude function and just kind of extrude into that surface. And again, I'll extrude out. And then I will shrink this. So you get kind of this chamfered edge to the knob. and create a surface there. Move these out just a little bit more. There we go. So there's more, more knob to grab. And once you've created that one, it's pretty easy to just select that and duplicate it. 
but I can duplicate it to one side, or since it's over the center axis, I can actually just come back, turn symmetry on, and move them over. But I think I'm going to use a duplicate function in this case. If I duplicate it like that, the center one will stay. And to give some color to this, select this, these surfaces here, come in, add some yellow. And now we have a nice central control unit for the speakers. So just like that, using the polyline tool and the extrude tool, you have a nice little center unit for the speaker towers. I hope this tutorial was helpful and useful for you. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter channels. We'd love to see what you create and you make. So feel free to share it with us in our community or our, on any of our social media profiles. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.